In today's video, we will be discussing something that is dear to our hearts. Answering the question, what is the best way to invest when you are in your 20s? When it comes to investing, the earlier the better. Compounding works in such a way that your money grows exponentially. A person who starts investing just a few years earlier could end up with a ton more money when it comes to the time they retire than they would if they just started later in life. Investing in your 20s can be a good way to build wealth over time. Here are a few key steps to consider. First, start early. The earlier you start, the more time your investments have to grow. Second, create a budget. Investing requires disposable income. Establishing a budget will help you understand your spending patterns and find areas where you can cut back to increase your savings. Third, educate yourself. Research different types of investments like stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and etc. to determine which ones align with your risk tolerance. Fourth, diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify your portfolio to minimize the risks. Fifth, Consider a robo-advisor. If you are starting out and don't have much investment experience, a robo-advisor can be a good option. Sixth, be patient. Investing is a long-term commitment. Be prepared to hold on to your investments through markets ups and downs. Seventh, review and adjust. Regularly review your investments and make adjustments as necessary to stay on track to meet your long-term financial goals. If you are in your 20s and you want a head start on investing, here are a few tips to help you out. Step 1. Learn to invest. The first thing you want to do is learn how to invest. Big surprise, right? You're going to figure out how investing is done. You've got some choices right here and we've kind of gone through an awful lot of things you are going to take a look at. Let us give you some advice after doing this for so long. There is a family of investors. It started with Ben Graham, then Warren Buffett, and Charlie Munger. Their marketing strategy teachings have been passed down to me and thousands of students. A marketing strategy that is the best in the world, and this is where the millionaires and billionaires come from. It's a strategy you can use whether you are starting a business, buying a franchise, building one, buying a house, or renting one. Investing is a global strategy that everyone should learn as soon as possible. You have your whole life ahead of you to compound money. Once you have learned something about investing, you might want to start getting control of your cash. Step 2. Pay off your student loan. The next thing you need to do is pay off your student debt. Student debt is a common burden for people in their 20s. If you still have student loans to pay off, that should be your top investment goal. It's a shame because college was a lot cheaper back then in the late 80s and 90s. And the cost of living has risen by more than 3% per year during that time. Colleges have gone up by 8% and we know that it doesn't sound like much of a difference. The difference now is choosing between going to school for $1,000 a semester versus going to college for $20,000 a semester. In the same way that investments make you richer and richer, this debt you've had for a long time is getting bigger and bigger as the years go by. It's brutal, and we feel for you. Before you wade into the stock market or other investments, it's a great start to get yourself out of that burden by eliminating debt. Being in debt can be a liability that will hold you back from your long-term goals. Step 3. Plan your retirement. Put a money into a retirement account. You have a 401k plan through your employer that matches your contributions. We are not big fans unless they allow you to invest your money however you want, which more and more of them are doing. However, if you are in a 401k plan, you are forced to invest in mutual funds. We are afraid that in the next couple of years, you are going to give it all back. We strongly urge you to invest where you have control and where that money is not going to mutual funds. A 401k is a type of employer-sponsored retirement savings plan in the US. It allows employees to save and invest a portion of their paycheck before taxes are taken out. 
employers may also contribute to the plan. Step 4. Setting up Roth IRA When it comes to managing your finances, we strongly suggest putting them into a Roth IRA or a regular IRA. 401k plans are great if they are going to match, but once they match, they are stuck in a ridiculous investment vehicle. A Roth IRA is a type of individual retirement account in the US where contributions are made after taxes, and qualified withdrawals are tax-free. Here are the pros of the Roth IRA. First, tax-free withdrawals in retirement. Second, contributions have no age restrictions. Third, there are no required minimum distributions. Fourth, potential for tax-free growth of investments. On the other side, here are the cons of a Roth IRA. First, contributions are made after tax dollars. Second, income limits for eligibility. Third, no upfront tax deductions for contributions. Setting up a Roth IRA is a great idea because you pay your taxes before the money enters the account and you don't have to pay taxes on the growth. The key thing is placing your money in a place where you can control it, and you have the ability to pick and choose your investments using the principles that Ben Graham, Warren Buffett, and Charlie Munger have taught us. That way you can get maximum returns. A Roth IRA is preferable to people who are in their 20s as opposed to traditional IRAs. A traditional IRA requires you to pay your taxes on your contribution first and you are in the lower tax bracket since you are still in your 20s. Typically, people in a higher tax bracket are in their 50s and should use the traditional IRA because they might be paying 35 or 40% tax. If you are paying 20% in tax, you want that money in the IRA to grow without taxation. Step 5. Creating a budget this is an important step, and it takes courage and discipline to live within your means. Creating a budget forces you into a habit where you can only spend a limited amount. Sticking to it is one of the things that is going to help you discipline yourself when it comes to investing. Step 6. Pay yourself first. Every single paycheck should specify a specific percentage that is deducted immediately. In other words, Pay yourself first. And I know that you have heard that before, but it is really important that you do it in your 20s. The dollars that you are saving and putting away can help you live a better life. You could have a better car, better clothes, and even take yourself on a vacation. However, the money that you are putting away can turn into millions of dollars later on. If you don't think that's important, Warren Buffett was in an elevator with a bunch of insurance guys, and one of these guys said that they were watching Buffett looking at a penny on the floor of the elevator. He said that he was wondering whether Buffett would bend over and pick it up. The billionaire didn't do it, and when the doors opened, Buffett stepped out and looked back at these guys before the doors closed. He reached out and picked out the penny. He held it up and said, Beginning of the next billion. The point is that Buffett understands the power of compounding. Warren Buffett understands the power of a little money today, and in 30 or 40 years, it can be a million dollars. Setting a budget is an important step in getting the money into one investing account before spending it. In addition to setting a budget, this includes the money you are going to pay yourself first. Step 7. Set Specific Goals you should also set specific goals when it comes to investing. How much money do you want to invest by the time you are 30? How much can you see when pulling out? Keep the belt tight because that money is going to make you very rich someday. How much money do you need to invest each month and every year? In order to reach that goal, you need to set some goals and push yourself to achieve them. It will make things easier to stay motivated and push yourself further. If you are having difficulty deciding which path to take, consider putting 10% of the money that you make right into the investment account and sticking with it. Let us give you an example of how important it is to put money aside and invest. Let's say you are going to double your money 20 times over the course of your lifetime. Instead of putting $1,000 somewhere, 
where you can double it, as Buffett has done much better. You can have a thousand dollars and buy a refrigerator, but that refrigerator will cost you a million dollars after 30 to 40 years. The power of compounding is crazy in terms of making you wealthy. If you might not be able to double it 20 times, you can double it 10 times and that could become a million dollars. Do you really want to give up a million dollars for a refrigerator? Of course not. We would love to hear more from you guys and if you actually have investment goals. Do leave a comment below and we will be sure to follow it up. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to share this video with your friends if you want to learn more about investing. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more of our content. We will see you all in the next video.